July 27th, St. Pantaleon, Martyr. He was the son of a pagan father brought up in the faith by his Christian mother. He became learned in medicine and was the physician to Emperor Galerius Maximian. For a time he failed under a temptation which is sometimes more dangerous than the severest trials or fiercest torments, that being bad example, which, if not shunned, insensibly weakens and at length destroys the strongest virtue. Pantaleon, being perpetually obsessed by it in a wicked and idolatrous court, and deceived by often hearing the false wisdom of the world applauded, fell into apostasy. But a Christian called Hermolaus, by his prudent admonitions, awakened his conscience to a sense of his guilt, and brought him again into the church. When Diocletian's persecution broke out in the year 303, he distributed all his possessions among the poor Christians and was shortly after denounced to the authorities by some jealous fellow physicians. He was arrested together with Hermolios and two others. The emperor wished to save him and urged him to apostize, but Pantaleon refused and miraculously cured a paralytic as a sign of the truth of the faith. After suffering many torments, they were all condemned to lose their heads, but Pantaleon suffered the day after the rest. He was subjected to six different attempts to kill him by burning, liquid lead, drowning, wild beasts, the wheel, and the sword. All of these, with the help of the Lord, under the appearance of Hermolius, he frustrated, till at length he permitted himself to be beheaded. Then there poured from his severed veins milk instead of blood, and the olive tree to which he was bound sprang into fruit. St. Pantaleon is one of the fourteen holy helpers and is honored in the East as the great martyr and wonder worker, and one of the holy moneyless ones who treated the sick without payment. In the past he has been almost as famous in the West. Relics of his blood are preserved at Constantinople, Madrid, and Ravello. Per St. Alphonsus, these are said to liquefy on his feast day exactly as does that of St. Januarius at Naples. As one of the fourteen holy helpers, he is co-patron of physicians and patron of midwives. His help is implored in protection of domestic animals, in sickness, particularly cancer and tuberculosis, in abandonment, and to obtain the grace of true penance. He is pictured as a Greek youth dressed in tunic, bearing a sword and holding a martyr's palm in his hand. Reflection. With the holy thou wilt be holy, and with the innocent man thou wilt be innocent, and with the elect thou wilt be elect, but with the perverse thou wilt be perverted. So let's take heed and make sure that we and our children are socializing with the elect and not the vain, corrupted children of this world.